Hey, hi, and howdy, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Courtney, and on this homemade life, I like to focus on food and kitchen content. That means grocery hauls, what's for dinner style videos, and much more. If that's the kind of thing you like, then I hope you will consider hitting the subscribe button and sticking around. All right, y'all. I have three recipes that I made for dinner this week. That's right, only three. This was such a busy week for us. It was our last week of co-op. We have lots of things going on. My kids had martial arts tournament, all kinds of stuff. So I was really rushed, but I managed to get these three quick, easy, and absolutely amazing meals on the table, and I cannot wait to share them with you. First off, fish taco bowls. What made these quick and easy is the fact that I'm going to be using frozen battered fish. I buy mine at Sam's Club in a big box. It's just frozen battered cod. You can use whatever you like to use or just fresh fish. Doesn't have to be crispy. It's up to you. I'm gonna start off by making a slaw. So I've got some mayonnaise, some lime juice, some salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of honey. That's all it takes. I'm gonna throw the shredded cabbage in there. I took a little help from the store on this one and just bought it pre-shredded. It was actually a really, really good price. It was under $2 for that whole bag, and uh, it made a lot of coleslaw. I think it probably made about six servings or so. I just like to mix mine up, just shake it around in there so the dressing gets on everything, and then set it aside, and it'll do its thing. It starts to kind of wilt down a little bit. So while it was hanging out in the fridge, I'm making a sauce to kind of pour over the taco bowls. And essentially what I'm doing here is just mixing some lime juice and some taco seasoning into some sour cream. So I've got about four-ish tablespoons of sour cream, give or take. I didn't measure, uh, but I'm going to go with about four tablespoons. And then I added in a couple of tablespoons, probably about one and a half of taco seasoning and about a tablespoon of lime juice. And I gave everything a good stir tasted it and then decided I needed a little bit more seasoning. Now, if y'all are new here, I don't use taco seasoning. I just make my own seasoning for when I make tacos. So I'm just using those particular ingredients, which would be like salt, pepper, garlic powder, chili powder, cumin. Uh, I think that pretty much covers all of it. That'll make you a nice taco flavoring. I just don't purchase taco seasoning and I don't actually make and keep it on hand because I don't like it on my taco meat. I feel like it's a little bit overwhelming. I prefer to season mine a little bit more lightly, but you use whatever your family likes. Maybe you have like a chipotle seasoning that you like, go for it. I just popped my battered fish into the oven. There it is right there. I put a little salt on top so it tastes really tasty. Cook it till it's done according to package directions. There's my dipping sauce. I have some pineapple. Uh, just trust me on this one. It's gonna be amazing. Corn, cilantro, some green onions. Um, there is some brown rice that I cooked and of course that slaw. You can really put whatever you want on here. Maybe you have some pico de gallo or some salsa or something or some other vegetables, some, I don't know, guacamole. The pineapple was absolutely amazing on this. Fish and pineapple are like best buddies. I did find some avocado that I threw on there in the end and the corn just brings a nice pop to it. We've got the Christmas of the slaw. This was so good and it all pairs beautifully with that fish and I put that sauce on top. This was so easy and so delicious and you know we're leaning towards the healthier side. The battered fish is not so great for you but everything else was pretty good so all in all a really good meal. All right we're going to do this cilantro lime chicken. This looked really easy. Now the recipe that I'm linking below is for grilling it and I was not gonna go outside and grill it. I just didn't have time. So I'm just throwing together the marinade and I'm going to cook mine in a skillet later. So I've got some orange juice, some lime juice, some honey, some uh, garlic powder, some cilantro. I'll link the full marinade down below. And I'm going to mix this all together and then let my chicken marinade in this. I think I let mine sit for about four hours because I had things to do on this particular day. So I just put it in there before I left. That way when I got home, it had been marinating and it was ready to go. I have two huge chicken breasts. They are kind of pounded out a little bit, but they are really good size. This was more than enough chicken for us to have for dinner. It was a lot of chicken. And like I said, I just let these marinate in the fridge and they took on a lot of flavor. That orange juice really soaks up amazingly into chicken. Now I decided that I was gonna follow the recipe and make this um, orange salsa that they had and this was so good. So I have just a couple of mandarins left in my fridge. I used two for this. It was a great way to use them up since it was our last uh, week of co-op and we're not gonna be packing lunches for a while. That's what I typically use them for. And sometimes I forget about them without packing lunches. So it was really handy to throw them in here. I've got some green onion. I've got some of those oranges. I've got some cilantro and I'm throwing it all in a bowl together. I've got, these are diced green smoked 
detached chilies. I buy them during chili season and then I just freeze them so I have them year round. Um, these are amazing, but you could use regular peppers like fresh peppers or a can of diced green chilies. It's totally up to you. I just had these on hand and I wanted to use them because they've been hanging out in my freezer and it's almost hatched chili season again anyway. I've got some lime juice and some salt. Just gonna mix this all together and let the flavors come together. I did throw a little bit of garlic powder in there because I thought it would be amazing. Sorry, I did not realize that my bowl was pushed kind of out of the frame. Sorry about that, guys. But this was an easy, fresh salsa to throw together and it was so delicious. All right, so my chicken has been marinating for quite a few hours at this point and I'm ready to cook it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on the bottom of my skillet there and I'm just going to cook them. This means cooking them in the skillet. I'm not gonna get as much beautiful flavor because there's so much moisture in this chicken right now. But I was afraid if I put them in the air fryer that they would overcook because it's chicken breasts and they get dry so easily. Uh, and like I said, the original recipe is for grilling and I just really did not feel like grilling. It's hot outside and I was busy and I just really didn't have the time for it. So I'm just doing it this way and I'll tell you what, they tasted really, really good despite not getting like beautiful, gorgeous color on them. You can see this is the first time I flipped them, not a lot of color going on. I ended up having to flip them two more times, but they don't develop a ton of color, but they do get flavor. So I've got leftover brown rice. I've got some black beans, the chicken, the salsa, absolutely fabulous. Feel free to throw on some lettuce and tomato and things like that if you want to, but this was really, really delicious. All right, the last meal was breakfast casserole. It was supposed to be something else, but everything kind of went awry on this particular day, and this is uh, what was thawed and what I had time to bake. So I threw it together in the few minutes that I was home in the middle of the day, so it would be ready when we got home late that night for dinner. This is an easy casserole. I'm using uh, Simply Potatoes. Any kind of frozen potato makes this super simple. Of course, you could use fresh, but frozen potatoes and Simply Potatoes are my my favorite just make the process easier so I just throw them in a skillet with a little bit of oil and I let them get brown and crispy as you can see I've got some more of those diced uh, green hatch chilies the smoked ones from my freezer and I'm throwing a lot of them in here again roasted green chilies in the can are perfect for this or salsa verde if you want a lot more heat to it or uh, you could just like dice up a jalapeno or a poblano or something, but that pepper flavor with the potatoes and the bacon we're gonna be using is so delicious. I've made burritos like this before and they were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the green chilies and the bacon are just, I don't know, they are a match made in heaven, y'all, especially these hatch roasted chilies because they have such an amazing flavor. If you can get roasted chilies in the can, that would be probably the second best thing. Again, mine are frozen, so I'm really having to work them you know, kind of in the pan and get them thawed out because I didn't think ahead to pull them out because I wasn't planning on making this. My chicken was in the freezer when I got home because I realized I forgot to thaw it. I do have some pre-cooked bacon there. I buy the Hormel um, pre-cooked bacon at Sam's Club just because it's nice to have it on hand. So I just chopped up a few slices and I threw them in there just so they could warm a little bit. And that part of the casserole is ready to go. So now we're gonna get the eggs going. I've got eight eggs and I poured about a quarter cup of milk in there, a little dash of salt and a heavy, heavy dash of pepper because we really like fresh ground pepper, especially in our eggs. And then I just did a whole bit of whisking right there. I'm pretty hardcore on the whisk with my eggs just to kind of really break them up and get them all scrambled. I've got a casserole dish here. This is a smaller casserole. Uh, my kids won't eat this, my youngest two kids. So it's just for the three adults in the house, uh, my husband, myself, and my oldest son. So I sprayed it with some nonstick spray and then I poured the potatoes and the green chilies and the bacon in there and I'm gonna top it with the eggs. Now, if you want to add some cheese in here, feel free to throw it on there. I did not add any. I'm trying to not eat as much cheese and my son does not like cheese. So I've just been kind of cutting it out on some dishes as I go. And this was one where I knew I was not gonna miss it. So I did it that way. Now, if you wanted to throw extra veggies in here like tomatoes and you know fresh peppers or something, that would be amazing as well. But this is quick and simple on its own and it took me no time to throw together. It bakes in 30 minutes at 350 degrees and look how beautiful that casserole is. Plus, it lasts for a while in the freezer and you can freeze it and have it on hand for breakfast on the go. All right, y'all, that's all I had time to cook this week. I'm so sorry, but co-op's over and we've got more time on our hands. So next week I will have more recipes coming your way. It will be a video of side dishes because it's summertime and we're all going to those barbecues and get togethers and we all need to bring a simple side. Hope I will see you guys there. Have a great week. Bye.